NXL A-Level Maths, Pure Paper 2, October 2021, Question 13. The curve C has parametric equations x equals sine 2 theta, y equals cosec cubed theta, for theta between 0 and pi over 2. For part A, we need to find an expression for dy by dx in terms of theta. So in finding dy by dx for parametric equations, we need to first differentiate both the x and the y with respect to theta. So let's start with the y equals cosec cubed theta. We can do this by result. If you remember how to deal with this using the chain rule, I'll show you the long way for using the chain rule here though. So for the chain rule, we're gonna let u equal cosec theta, which means that y will equal u cubed. If we differentiate u with respect to theta, we get the result of minus cosec theta cot theta. This is in the formula booklet given to you. We're also going to differentiate dy with respect to u, which is 3u squared. And substituting our u equals cosec theta back into that, we get a 3 cosec squared theta. So dy by d theta is going to equal dy by du times by du by d theta. So that's our minus. 3 cosec squared theta times cosec theta cot theta, which is minus 3 cosec cubed theta cot theta. Now dx by d theta is a lot easier. It's also the chain rule, but we can see this one quite quickly, that it's going to equal 2, so the 2 from the 2 theta has come out to the front, cos 2 theta. Now to get dy by dx, we can do our dy by d theta divided by our dx by d theta. If you just think of that, if we're dividing by a fraction, this is like multiplying by d theta over dx. So the d thetas will cancel out. We'll end up with dy by dx. Putting what we've got in, that gives us a final answer of minus 3 cosec cubed theta cot theta all over 2 cos 2 theta. For part b, hence find the exact value of the gradient of the tangent to c at the point where y equals 8. So we've got our expression for dy by dx, but this is in terms of theta, whereas we've been given y equals eight. So we're gonna to need to convert that, but we know that y equals cosec cubed theta. So we're gonna set that equal to eight. Cube rooting both sides gives us that cosec theta equals two, but cosec is one over sine. So this means that sine theta is equal to a half, hence theta must be pi over six. And we know it's going to be this value of theta because we're told at the beginning that it must lie between 0 and pi over 2. Now we've got our theta, we can substitute that into our expression for dy by dx. So we get minus 3 times cosec cubed pi over 6 times cot pi over 6 all over 2 cos pi over 3. Now remembering that cosec is just 1 over sine, cot is 1 over tan, we can put those into our calculator to get minus 3 times by 2 cubed, times by root 3 for the cot, and that's all over 2 times a half for the cos pi over 3. Well, 2 times a half is just 1, so we're just going to be left with the top row. Multiplying the minus 3 and the 2 cubed, we end up with minus 24 root 3. If you've enjoyed this video, remember to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel to keep up to date with all the latest releases.